know I'm from a city where we swing. Fifteen bumping in the truck, I let it bang. You see me coming, but I'm coming, watch me switch it. What's going on? It's your boy Chris Co. Fit, and you have reached my channel where fitness meets fragrance. And listen, goddammit, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do so by hitting the damn subscribe button and ring that notification bell, all right? This is how you'll get frequent updates from your boy when I drop something new. Now, I am dropping videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. However, this week I've been thrown off with this quarantine, standing in the lines because I'm trying to get food. A brother gotta eat, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way you're gonna keep the game. So, with that being said, what was I standing in the quarantine line with? Hmm. 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 I was standing in line with this bad boy. And as you know, on this channel, we don't talk about the goddamn nose. Now we know that we don't talk about the goddamn notes, but this one has some really interesting, let me turn it on body, y'all didn't even tell me. This one got some interesting notes. We talking white musk, we talking orange, bergamot, vetiver, almond. That's what, let me spray this because when I walked up, when I pulled up to H-E-B on that scene, two women, Two women was like, whoa, what the, who who smells so good? Who, that's what they said, bro. Who smells so good? And I'm sitting there like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's somebody else in the next line, you know, not trying to be too cocky. Maybe somebody else is walking them by. But then when she said, it smells so good. It smells almondy. I'm like, oh, well, let me go ahead and backtrack. Yeah, ma'am, that's, that's me. If you don't go cop this fragrance that I'm about to tell you, you should go do so for your husband or your boyfriend or whoever. I had to go ahead and give her the recommendation that is Guerlain's EDL Cologne. And this supposedly is supposed to be discontinued right now. That's one story. My wife, she absolutely loves this fragrance. We both love almonds. We buy almonds just to sit them in the bowl. And then we stop lying. She like pecans, but damn it, it's a nut. It's a nut. She loves the fresh smell of palms. <laughs> she loves the fresh smell of this scent, all right? It's very refreshing. You know, this is almost like, you can pull this off in any situation. You can pull this off in the office, because it's not too overwhelming. You can pull this off, you know what I'm saying, on any date, or just like I said, casually going to the grocery store. Now, who can I see wearing this fragrance? I can actually see your boy Justin Bieber rocking this scent, man. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum, that yummy, yummy. Right now, he's in his bad boy stage. He done fell out of love. But nonetheless, the tattoos don't lie. From what I heard, he's still in his bad boy frame. But he has a soft, sweet, almondy side. And that's no disrespect to you, my brother. But I can see definitely Justin Bieber rocking this around all the girls and all the girls loving this scent. Who else can I see rocking this scent? I can see, I can see my boy Rotimi. And I love his Caribbean music, bro. This is citrusy. Citrusy. It, when I think of citrusy smell, I don't know why I think of the Caribbeans, but I just do. And I feel like Rotimi, you know what I'm saying, will be wearing this fragrance. I love his album, by the way. I feel like he will be rocking the hell out of this, doing this. Eh, 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 eh. You know what I'm saying? This is what Rotimi has on in his videos. This is what he had on in uh, Power, you know what I'm saying? When he was playing Dre, the bad guy. He was the bad guy, but he had a what? A soft heart. He was kind-hearted by nature, though. He was a little grimy. He still had that soft side. He had he had a daughter, and he had to do what he had to do, guys. He had to do what he had to do. But both those guys would be rocking this fragrance. Justin Bieber, Bro Timmy. If you guys are interested in smelling like either one of those guys, or you just want to smell refreshing, you want some, you want that lady, uh, that significant other, though, come up on you and be like, oh my God, you smell so good. You smell so, so almondy. Hey, you remember uh, anybody Martin fans? 
it was the part where they were standing in line and he came up to Tommy. He said, uh, you so almond deep. What, what? Now you know you heard me almond. I don't even know why you tripping with your little almond self. You so almond deep. Look at you. I'm gonna start calling you Almond Joy. If you want to smell so almond deep, you need to go ahead and cop this fragrance. Now let's talk about the longevity. What would I rate this? for longevity. For me, this stays on my skin for quite some time, man. Like, seriously, it stays on my skin for maybe up to seven to eight hours. Now, I'm not sure. I think it has to deal with, you know, the skin texture, whether you got oily or dry skin, whether you putting on lotion or anything else. But for me, like I said, seven to eight hours. So I'm going to go ahead and rate this fragrance with a, I'm gonna give it a nine for me. It's a nine for me, guys. All right, what do I put this on the scale for as uniqueness? For uniqueness, guys, I, listen, I already told you what's in there. The almond and the, the feta, the bergamot, the white musk, those things that they, 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 they're blended well together. This, the, the girl line has an interesting smell to it. And every time I've worn this, you know what I'm saying? People are like, you know, I, I've never smelled a scent like that. So uh, for me, I'm gonna give uniqueness also a nine, okay? I'm gonna give uniqueness a nine for this fragrance, all right? What do I'm gonna say? What, what, what would I give this for versatility? Versatility, like I said, you can wear this when you get about the shower and you just don't be quarantined in yourself. You can wear this when you standing in the quarantine line like I was for Best Buy or H-E-B to cop some food. You can wear this once, once this quarantine is over for uh, a date night at a restaurant, at, at, at in the movies. It don't matter, this is a versatile scent. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 because I've even rocked this in the gym and pulled out some compliments. Speaking of compliments, what do I get this fragrance for comp Oh my God, I get so many compliments for this damn fragrance. And I'm so sad that they discontinuing. If you can go purchase this on discount, just make sure you go get it before it's all gone and then it's overpriced. This scent gets a lot of compliments, so I got to give it a 9.5 again. I'm not gonna give it a perfect 10, because some people may not like that scent. But, nonetheless, Chris Cole Fit gives this a damn 9.5, which leaves me no choice but to say, you know, this is the perfect spring scent. Along with, let's go ahead, do I got it sitting over here? No, I don't. Uh, but I do have the Chanel Lua sitting right here. These two were in my top 10 uh, spring spring fragrances that you should buy. Overall, overall, I give this fragrance a 9.5, all right? This is a really good scent, okay? Especially in these times, spring times, you need something very spicy, woody, uh, citrusy, aromatic, you know what I'm saying? To 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 complement whatever style you go with. Whether that's a casual style or kind of dressy up style, it's gonna go. It's going it's definitely going to go. And it's gonna, like I say, get you the compliments from the people that you are trying to get the compliments from. You know, if you like the way I review these fragrances, if you like the advice that I give, and even if you don't, I don't give a fuck. Hit the damn subscribe button so you can leave comments about how much you don't like it or you do like my video, okay? And if you're on social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook, let's start with Instagram. Chris Coasted underscore. I also have a fragrance page up uh, Instagram now. That's Chris Coasted Fragrances. That's all you gotta do is go there. I post a bunch and it exclusively, uh, nothing but fragrances um you can also go to facebook chris co fit fragrances on there as well and chris co fit all right so with that being said i'm signing out holla at your boy